Hi, hello everyone. I'm only one gamer and welcome back to Terraria. I'm so glad to be back making another part for you guys. We're in the hollow currently and today joining us is only one bat. Yes, this is the first time he has made an appearance, believe it or not. We have never summoned him yet, so he's going to be joining us today since only one slime is taking a brief hiatus. Um, he said he needed a break, so you know, huh, what can you do? So only one bat is here. He's flying around all happy and such and that's pretty awesome. So... With all that aside, though, we got quite a bit to cover in this part. I uh, wonder if any unicorns or anything is going to attack me. Perhaps not. Sweet. If so, we do got this phase saber that we made last part, which is going to be absolutely epic. And, uh, well, in this part, we have quite a bit planned. I would like to make full adamantite armor, and if I can achieve that, I'm going to be quite happy with myself, I must say. So, okay, so first things first. What do I need to do? What I need to do is uh, get some gold. Oh, and I want to show you guys my magic dagger that I picked up from a mimic, I do believe are, they are called. They are like these chest, like monsters that drop like a ton of gold when you kill them. It's absolutely fantastic. But I, one happened to drop a furious magic dagger. And what the? Only one bad. Did you kill that Bonnie? I didn't know you were a murderer. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it dropped a furious magic dagger. And I was like, wow, this is awesome because it's. It's unlimited usage, see? I could just like, oh yeah, whoa. And it's decent, but it's not that good against hard mode um, enemies. So it does take up some magic. But it, w the shocking thing is, like if you go to Alfred or someone, I can get 22 gold from this. Now, when I seen that, I was like, what? Are you, are you, are you, are you playing with? Is it serious? Are you kidding? And it was awesome. And I'm going to keep it though. Because I don't feel the need to sell it right now, but if I ever do need some gold, then I'm definitely going to sell it. Because it's not that great of a weapon, and I really just sell it and get some money because, you know, eh. But for now, we're going to keep it, just in case. You never know with Terraria. There's always something like, oh, you need this to craft this, and etc, and etc. But the mimics I were talking about, actually, um, actually, we need about five gold for what we're going to do. But the mimics I was talking about dropped some really good loot that I have yet to obtain, and yes... Well, only one bad is just killing everything in his path, man. He, he is not stopping. Look at this. Boom. He's actually pretty powerful. Uh, perhaps he can help us fight mobs. But yes, I can. I finally figured out how to place the music box. Uh, simply, all it needed was like a record recorded on it, and then you can place it and whatnot. So, I don't know. It adds a nice addition to the house. I'm not going to plan on using it that much, though. I bought it and don't even plan on using it. I know. And the guide has a different name, Colin, because I... Uh, off recording, a goblin army attacked, and it was sick, you know, it was bad, it really was, but what can you do, um, but the, the, I noticed the goblin army is really weak now, um, compared, you know, now I've got stronger and whatnot, everything's like so much easier, I see, but, uh, yeah, you can notice I'm getting a lot of supplies out, because we're about to craft something fantastic, if this works out, I and mean, it might be a huge fail, but we're buying a spell tome, now, if you recall, um, I'm not much of a mage because simply I don't have all the mage required items and stuff that boost my magic up and I don't really care. But I do like to have some mage weapons every now and then throw it, throw it in there. So I had water bolt for the longest which you find in the uh, dungeon uh, where you kill bef after you kill Skeletron. And I was like, well, it's probably time to upgrade. Even though this magic dagger is great, we're going to be getting one of the best spells in the game if I can craft it here at the bookshelf now note this must be crafted at the bookshelf um now i don't know if i have the ah oh, there it is okay crystal storm now crystal storm is a hard mode magic weapon of course and it's very it, it's like it does 26 magic damage right but it's extremely fast summons rapid fire crystal shards now this is a recommendation towards anyone that likes using mage weapons or anything in general you definitely want to obtain this because it has a slightly um higher fire rate than the mini shark yeah that's pretty insane right faster fire rate than the mini shark it's it when i heard that i was just like what this is a uh, revolutionary i don't even know what to say about this so let's go ahead and put water bolt in one of the chests over here since we don't need it anymore but i just really like spells so i want to keep it i'm i'm just kind of like collector oh and we also have an anvil statue and that pretty much makes our statue room almost complete we won't be able to add no more and it's kind of shocking like i have not found one statue though that is useful um some of the statues generate like different things like if you get a bomb statue you can get bombs from it and so that's really beneficial but i've just you know i haven't found one of them i don't find none of the good ones which is surprising so 
Enough of that though, we're probably going to use the Crystal Storm a little bit. Uh, we'll go down in the depths and try it out. And, you know, we got to try out a Blue Face Saber a little bit before we already upgrade to something else. Um, in due time, we will get Excalibur because it's a really easy weapon to obtain. Um, after you kill, like, the Destroyer, I do believe. Um, but I'm really having my doubts about fighting a boss battle. Especially now, I need full Adamantite before anything. So, we definitely need to get full Adamantite. I need to go ahead and hotkey my stuff. I should have done that before I started recording. Oh, Cursed Hammer. Why? Why, bro? Come on. Just get, get your face bone in. Yeah, the blue face saber is really epic. It will kill things so quick, and it's so helpful, I see. Um, that's a chest that we might have found in one of the previous parts. Um, basically, all the chests now really don't hold nothing too great. Um, it's stuff we've done, found, or etc. And it's just like, well, yeah, now. There's a corruptor. Okay, just kill him real quick. He thinks he's cool. Alright, we need that soul of night. So, alright, so let me showcase Crystal Storm a little bit, shall we? Let me go ahead and hotkey that. And I need this mana flower thing that you find in the... Look at that. Look how fast it is. Look at this. It's unreal. So, you guys can imagine this is going to make killing things so much easier. Um, and I don't know about... Oh, wait. We might get to test it out here, yeah. Okay, armored skeleton. Get over here. Look at how quick it killed the digger. This is unreal, yo. OMG, this is so awesome. Okay, that's that's epic. I like it. I think I could roll with it. I definitely dig it. I do. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get down here, though. Why is this blocked off? Like, it seems like I dig down here before, but okay, we got cobwebs. Nah, nothing too beneficial. Oh, there's a mimic. We gotta kill that. We have to kill it. It could drop another good item that is worth a lot of money. And a cool thing about mimics is they drop like um, they drop. 10 gold every time you kill them or more so basically they drop a lot of gold money all that stuff that you need um if i can get down there to it without getting attacked by like every f enemy in the book yo okay oh i cannot wait to see what loot it gives us i'm so excited these things are kind of strong though so you gotta be a little bit careful when fighting them but it's not that big of a deal so we should be able to kill it da -da 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 -da. so it was a definitely a good thing we came down here oh 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 whoa 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 I gotta be careful here. Okay, this is the perfect time for this. Here we go. Yes. Oh, Digger, don't kill me. I'm busy. I I am not dying without killing this thing first. I I can't do it. No, Digger, get out of here. Thank you. Ugh. Okay. Die. Die. Yes. Okay, he's almost dead. Oh, yo, dual hook. No way. No way. No, oh, whoa, I threw my blue face. <laughs> okay, freak out, throw everything. See, 10 gold, and we got the dual hook. Oh, oh, my, uh, I, I, I've been lost for words right now because the dual hook is an upgraded version of the Ivy Whip, I do believe. I'm not exactly sure. It just says dual hook. It don't say nothing else, does it? Huh. All right, let's get out of here before we die. Oh, I love finding mimics. It makes my day so much better. All right, let's go ahead and put our new... Gold in here, 99 gold. I think after you reach a uh, hundred gold, it turns into a platinum. Wow, things are just going great in the world of O1G. It makes me happy. Where's my, where's only one bat? Come on, I didn't see that, bro. But oh well. Okay, so whoa, Colin, don't be opening them doors. We don't need that. Okay, that's so epic. Let me put my crystal shards in here. I I I don't even know what to say. The dual hook. So now we have obtained the dual hook. I mean, we could put the Ivy Whip to rest, which is awesome. Um, I guess we could just throw that in there for now. That is so cool. We got the dual hook. I cannot believe I would get so such epic loot. Okay, this is this is awesome. This is so cool. This, look at this. It also has a longer reach than the Ivy Whip, and you could just keep on, you know, grappling around, and it's so easy. And it's so fast, and it just looks awesome. It's like a next-gen version of a hook. It's just like, boom. Look at this. It really reaches far, too. So that's the beauty about it. This is just awesome. I would, I was not expecting to get this in this part. It makes me so happy, yo. It really does. Oh, that's so epic. All right. I'm extremely happy I found that. Mimics are so 
awesome. They're like one of my favorite mobs in the game because they drop amazing stuff. Alright, so enough with all the excitement over the door hook. It's time to get back to business. Um, let me go ahead and throw that away. Don't need iron. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, a solar knight I can throw in my chest right here. Okay, now you would notice I have 46 adamantite. Yes, I've been collecting a little bit of adamantite, but I'm kind of worried it's not going to be full adamantite. Like, I really hope it is, but uh, I'm kind of worried that it's not going to be. Look at all this epic adamantite we can craft. Okay, so. Uh, okay, this is going to take 24. How many do I have? 46. That's going to take 8. Oh, I ain't going to have enough for the complete adamantite. It disappoints me. Okay, so the adamantite mass does more than the headgear, but the headgear increases our maximum mana by 80. Whoa, that's actually pretty good. Okay, what is this? The adamantite helmet, however, has 22 defense. I think I want to go with that. That is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, well, first off, let's go ahead and make the breastplate. And... Yeah, I'm already about out of adamantite bars. That is it, bizarre, yo. Well, look how much that already increases my defense. Okay, so I could craft one last thing. What do I want? Uh, well, I'm gonna end up getting them all anyway. So let's just go ahead and get the leggings right now. And boom, that's how we do it. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna probably go off camera, go search for some adamantite so I can get full adamantite in this part because. Well, I actually, it depends on how much time I have left. Actually, this part, yep, ah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get full adamantite in this part. But, I will have full adamantite by the next part, so that will be great to showcase, um, more than likely. So, yeah, we're going to have full adamantite by the next part, and then after we have full adamantite, we can finally start worrying about the Waverns, um, which I do believe they are called. Uh, I can't wait to fight them but you have to find them on a floating island and they're extremely powerful and even with adamantite i think we will die quite a bit so i'm kind of worried about fighting them and i don't know about all that but either way this part has been absolutely phenomenal because we have got so much done it's just awesome well we haven't got much done but we have got great loot um which is awesome so with all that aside though thank you guys for watching and have a brilliant day enjoy your life and only one bat and only one gamma. We'll see you later. Like and share it. Oh, one J Army, unite.